why not try something a little different with this really nice bisquick mix. What am I going to do? I'm going to cut the bananas in chunks. Then I'm going to put the chunks into the cornstarch because I need the bananas to be able to dip into the bisquick mix and have the bisquick mix stick to the banana. And that's what the cornstarch is going to be for. And I'm using heavy cream and instead of milk because I had it or I like it rich and also cream the banana as if the banana is not enough flavor. No it's not. Plus this gives a little a little fancier flavor to it. And we have a little sugar added to it. You could probably eat these alone without any pancake mix. Eggs, a little vanilla, a pure vanilla extract for a little more flavor. So that's it. And over here, right there, is my little deep fryer. I finally have a temperature gauge, which I found uh, last week. We're going to get this to 350 and we're going to fry these little bananas and I think it'd be a fun thing to eat for the kids too. Now you know when it's okay when you move this and it sounds smooth but no grittiness to it. So we're going to add the heavy cream with the banana liqueur, the vanilla, give it a little mix. And now I'm going to add the Bisquick mix. How simple. So we are going to mix now this lovely mixture. And I also made another item here. So whatever's left over, and there's going to be a lot left over unless you make a lot of bananas, but I'm not, is... Banana pancakes flavored with cream de banana. Now that's got to be good. That's enough mixing. Now I'm going to try, we're going to try one piece dipped in there and then a piece dipped into the cornstarch. We'll see what comes out better. So the temperature is going to be there in about another minute or two. Now we will cut the banana. And don't use a soft banana because you won't be able to handle it. So I have my banana, and like I said, I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to cut it like so, chunks like that. So let me get a few, and then I'll put them in my hand, and you could see. like that. And these will be fun to eat. I'm putting those in the cornstarch and then I'm going to save one piece just to go in the batter. Well we're now at 375 so I will take this piece put it in there and I'm using a cake tester so I don't have to use my fingers and if you use something that's too big to pick up the banana then you're gonna lose the batter. Well, we have it like that and we just drop it in. Now if this works we're at 375 a little bit more That's really puffed up, but you want it to brown evenly, so I'm trying to hold it in a position. Or you can just 
pour the oil, the hot oil, all over it, like that. Well, guess what? I wasted the cornstarch. I'm used to dredging things in cornstarch to make sure that the bat, but then I never use this type of batter. I've made my own. And then that's it. Now we're going to take this and put it on a plate. So you'll see what it looks like right here, right now. Then I'll make a few more pieces, I'll put them on a plate, and show you how we should uh, present it. I never made this before like this. So, you look at it and you go, that is too hot for me to taste. So, wait a minute. Now, I will say that this is delicious, but I'm going to cook it now at 350. I had it close to 400. <laughs> I had my mouth full and then anyway so it's staying at 350 we'll try and maintain that I'll raise the flame after I put the pieces in because you know what's going to happen pieces are going to and then I'm going to have a little pancake mix to eat I shouldn't say a little, a lot So this is the rest of one banana. The reason it's doing that is because I foolishly put this uh, skimmer in the sink. Well, what's important is that we're staying at 350. Now this is a fun item, you know what, the kids can just pick this up and eat it with their fingers. You really don't need any syrup, because don't forget we put the sugar in there. And then there's also sugar that's in the cream de banana, and don't worry, they won't get drunk. Nice flavor. At 350, see it's cooking a little slower. And they're getting nice golden brown. So that's what we want, 350. Not what I did on the first one. I got turned away for a second. And I had the flame up too high. But 350 is the way to go. And then you get yourself a little paper towel ready. And these are done. And we have the paper towel. And I'm going to take them out.
put them on this little plate. And then I'm going to get another plate. And I'll just show you a simple way to present it, which is fun. And after I made this, now I'm going to I'm going to serve this. You could almost call these banana beignets. But don't tell anybody I said that. And then you put it on a plate and just put a little powdered sugar over it. And I'm not sure what I'm going to call these yet. I have to do a, a little research. And uh, there you go. Using the Bisquick mix plus a few other things that I had to make bananas. And here's my leftover banana flavored uh, pancake. So you got two recipes in one.